We got Alex on the left, Gustavo on the right, and we're going to kick it off. So Gustavo is going to go ahead and start this game. Starts out that Volcanion EX. So uh, not the ideal starter in this matchup, I don't think. Definitely not, definitely not. You want to see the baby Volcanions out first. Um, absolutely. That, that Volcanion has an absolutely incredible attack. It does 20 damage, uh, lets you attach two fire energies from your discard, one to... Uh, to two different batch Pokemon. Yep. So, and then, you know, in combination with that Steam Up ability, yes. you discard a Fire from your hand, add another 30 damage, damage, and then that, and then not only do you get the extra damage, you get those energies from the discard. Yeah, great synergy back between both Volcanians, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the big strategies coming out of Steam Siege. Yeah. So, looks like Gustavo played a Cynthia. How do you touch a Fire Energy to the Volcanion for the turn? That's, uh, that's not good. So, you know, maybe Gustavo can find something. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Just a, just a pass. All right, so uh, Alex has the opportunity to go Berserk here. That was not a drop up on, I promise. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and play that Ultra Ball. Yeah, he doesn't know what he wants to discard. He has a lot of energy in hand. A lot so of energy. Um, I think that's four energy. energy. <laughs> like a DCE, two basic fighting, and a strong energy. Oh, I my cannot goodness. see what supporter that is uh, in his hand. I want to say it's a Cynthia. It so looks it like it, is, yeah. We're going to see a Lele Bridget here for sure. Yeah. So it looks like, yep, he's eyeing up that type of Lele. Would not be surprised to see the Bridget at this point. Yes. Uh, what would you get out in this matchup? Would you go Heavy Buzzwall or Heavy Zorak or uh, something else? I would honestly go one Buzzwall and two Zeruas. Okay. Uh, you need a draw power to, to keep ahead. Uh, <laughs> they keep up with the steam of Volcanion. Oh, uh, gosh. We are all about <laughs> puns here at Critical Day TCG, um, aren't we? And you still want the attacker. So um, just keep him hidden. I guess he's not fully decided on what he is going to grab. Yeah, um, so we'll have to wait and see what he does. But, I mean, depending on what Gustavo had, what would you do with Gustavo at this point? Would you just try to, you know, eventually find just a baby Volcanion? How I, long will that take, though? I, th I think that's the goal is to get a baby Volcanion. He has two Flowstone. He has two Switch. So getting the Volcanion out of active will Won't not be, be a problem. issue. Exactly. Or even a Guzma. Yep. So, uh, so I think prioritizing... Looks like he got the two Zeruas off of that Bridget. Can't, is that a Rock Ruff? Looks like it's a Rock Ruff, so, I okay. think. And so, he's playing that, uh, it looks like the promo Rock Ruff, actually, from the Trainer Kit. Yes. Uh, or the Blister promo. I forget which one that is. Um, but looks like he's going to go ahead. I think that having that Dangerous Rogue option later mm -hmm. in the game could be really big for him. So he's going to attach that fighting energy and just pass. Uh, see who Gustavo gets. Here's a Tapu Lele. There it is. Okay. Going to go ahead and use the Wonder Tag ability. Uh, I think if you're him at this point, yeah, I don't know. You might as well just go for like maybe a Cynthia or maybe an N or something like that. I don't think you... Oh, he's going for Kiawe. Wow. All right. Interesting. That's an interesting play for sure. I would be really hesitant to do that, but I mean... Hey, Gustavo's a really good player. He did really well at Worlds, so I can't really question whatever he's going to do. Oh, there's a Ho-Oh. That's why. So, gotcha. So he's going to bench that Ho-Oh. Probably going to use Kiawe on that Ho-Oh. So for those of you who don't know what Kiawe does, uh, it lets you search your deck for four at Fire Energy and attach him to one of your Fire Pokemon. And your turn ends as the downside, but, like, who cares? you got four yeah. energy on your side of the board in one turn. That's awesome. So one thing to merit, uh, you know, Volcanic is a big boost from Ultra Prism and Cynthia. Reason mm -hmm. being, uh, most decks rely on turn one Bridget instead of the board. Right. Volcanic cannot have that luxury because they're EX Pokemon. Absolutely. So being able to Cynthia and consistently draw all of your Pokemon, mm -hmm. you know, that helps out infinitely. So, Yeah. So we're going to see the Kiawe. Go ahead and put those four fires onto ho -Oh. And then ho -Oh can just start tearing things apart. Uh, I would be scared if I were Alex, honestly. Yeah. And ho -Oh resists fighting, too, with the Fighting Fear Belt oh, and no really true. Field Blower. Remember that's that. That's going to be no really field blower. tough. So this, this ho -Oh is here to stay. Yes, absolutely. Here to Phoenix burn everyone to ashes. So I think uh, definitely the play now would be to try to get a buzzle out and start chipping as much as you can. Yeah. Um, so going into Alex's turn, he is going to go ahead and go for that uh, Zork with the Mind Jack attack. Uh... Gonna play with Cynthia, get himself a fresh six cards. Seems pretty good. So I think off of this, you ideally want to definitely see maybe get a Lycan Rock so you can gust up that hoe and start chipping away at it. Because you know that you don't play Field Blower. Yes. You need to start getting at that hoe at that point. Yeah. That's, that is, I mean, obviously the main threat right now, but ho -Oh can sweep the board mm -hmm. uh, with this, uh, was it Crimson Burn attack or I believe it does 180 base. Phoenix Burn. Phoenix Burn. Yeah. Oh, good old Phoenix burn. So it doesn't look like he got anything that he could do, you know, like in Rock shenanigans at this point. Uh, is that double puzzle? Is that double puzzle? Looks like double puzzle, but what would you what would you get at this point? You it just have a lot like of energy in the disc. Speed. Well, there is an Ultra Ball in there, so he could, could go for that if he wanted to. Looks like he's going to opt for that. Probably Cynthia, Probably just so Cynthia. have to draw the next turn. Yeah, absolutely. So Ultra Ball wouldn't surprise me to see a Lycan Rock. Also wouldn't surprise me to, you know, potentially see... A Zorark GX. Ooh, Maybe get him call. some more cards. So he's between... Oh, he's actually discarding a Buzzwool. I think that's fine at this point. It's just really easy Ho-Oh fodder because Ho-Oh's doing 190 with the Fighting Fury belt. 
which is enough to knock out that buzz ball. So I think what we're going to see here is a Bloodthirsty Eyes on the Ho-Ho and Mind Jack for at least some damage. At least he has Choice Man in hand, so that'd be right. 10, 40, 70, 100 damage on a Ho-Ho. Mm -hmm. So with the 90x attacker, I think that's I think it's a solid play right now. Absolutely, because like I said, at this point, you got to start tipping away at that thing or else it's going to tear through you. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's really good that he's going at it with the one prize attacker that he has in Zorark, just so that he's not going to be, you know, going down on awkward prizes. Mm -hmm. And he does get the choice band. That's really good. Yep. So he is going to go ahead and mind jack for a solid 100. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's, it's great. It's a great number for just two on bench right now. So yeah. Um, and the only thing is losing is a bit is a mind jack Zorark. So yeah, that's one prize. One prize. Who cares? Master and you know, if he wanted to, you know, if he can find more puzzles and stuff like that, yes, he can get out the mind jack Zorark again if he really wanted to. Yes. Goodness. Please report to so, the but there's still not much going on, minus the... Yep. Oh, well, well, there we go. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and see the Guzma bring up the Steam Lightning up? Rock GX. Steam up for the knockout. Yep. Steam up is going to do enough damage to the... Or give enough damage that Phoenix Bear yes. knocks out the Lightning Rock. Does 220, so yes. Yes. So we're... That stinks for Alex. Oh my goodness. That was probably the thing he was relying on for the next turn, was to be able to use a big Dangerous Rogue or something like that to get rid of the Ho-Ho, -Oh, but... Lo and behold, can't really do that now. So, does good to Cynthia. Going to go ahead and draw six cards. Uh, I think if you're Alex at this point, uh, you probably want to find stuff like choice bands and stuff like that. Because being able to do riotous beating for 150, if you can get out of the active, would be enough to knock out yes. that ho-ho. So I think if he can find stuff like that, he will be in a really good spot. Fortunately, that um, there is no direct retreat for Ho-Ho. Right. Um, so not being able to Phoenix Bird the following turn mm -hmm. could be an Alex advantage. But between... Three Guzma, uh, sorry, four Guzma, two Floatstone, two Switch. Um, there's lots of options. There's lots of options for mm -hmm. Gustavo. Absolutely, to be able to and he's only burned the one Guzma on the Floatstone. That's it. And with that Floatstone on the Volcano, it's not going anywhere. Oh no. So, uh, the retreat shenanigans will happen. Absolutely. So, kind of looking at Alex's hand, he's going to get rid of the Bridget with that trade ability, draw himself a nice two new cards. So he does have Parallel in his hand. So we can go back to what I was saying earlier, where he can limit his bench size, um, and then keep the ho -oh down a little bit less but the math is still yeah I, mean, I would do I would do I would, that actually I would parallel so that you're oh he benches the espion maybe he is going for the riotous beating play potentially but, um, it won't but be even a parallel, so yeah even the parallel thing though I think it is a it's probably a good play because like if you parallel then the phoenix burn base damage is going to be 160 plus the fury belts 170 one steam up's only going to get you to 200 that's not enough to knock out yep. Zorark so but I think even at this point even just a Going with the stand-in with that Zor going into Mindjack would even be fine. Yeah, because he didn't get rid of that last turn, yep. so you know it might be fine. So he's going to use the Tapu Lele just to get a supporter into his hand, because I mean he wants benched Pokemon <laughs> so that he can do more damage. Uh, going to get the DCE. Is he going to play the parallel? He is not. Ooh. I mean it makes oh, sense. Okay. He wants to ride his beating, so stands in, retreats, and he's bringing the ride his beating back up. Okay. Yep. So, while well, I was curious if you even parallel Gustavo's side, this kind of looks yeah. like setting up. Looks like he's contemplate. Yep, there That's we go. That's what he's going to okay. do. Okay. So, yeah, I Gustavo like that play a lot. Now only has a bench space of three, thanks to that parallel city. Uh, so, you know, he can't play down a ton of Volcanic on EXs like he might want to, mm -hmm. which is really crucial for him. So, going to go ahead and go for the right of beating. Does a solid 120. Does Ho have 190 base HP? Yes. So, that's, so he's sitting at 10 HP left. Oh, wait. Yes. So just shy, but that sets up for Buzzwell later on if he doesn't heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So going to attach the fire energy to the Volcanic on EX. Maybe get it ready for a Volcanic Heat later on. Uh, field Blower, ooh, gets rid of the Parallel City with the Field Blower. That's good. And oh, oh man. man, gets the Guzma. He has it all right wow. now. Wow. Insane. So he's going to Guzma up that Tapu Lele, get a really quick knockout with Phoenix Burn. Even though Phoenix Burn says you can't attack the next turn, Yes. once you retreat to the bench, that effect goes away. So... There is no additional draw support. His Orangaroo is not on bench. Um, so, an end and knockout here on the ho well with and he, and he doesn't hit the third energy. Alex could come back in this right now. Yeah, absolutely. So, Alex is obviously getting the knockout this turn. Yes. I mean, like, there's 10 damage left on that ho It's going to be fine. So, it's definitely going to get knocked out this turn. I think what Alex needs to do is find it, like you said, find a way to get that and be able to... And he to has it in hand. I see it right there. Oh, uh, nice full art. full art one. And I'm surprised he didn't play it in his direction. I would have played oh. it off and knocked down the Espeon. Yeah, and would have reduced the fire. So Volcano uh, really needs a lot, a lot I, to knock it out. Yeah, that's true. I I could see it going either way. I think at this point Alex just kind of realizes like, oh, my EX and GX basics are already kind of fodder anyway. Out. So like, Fair who enough. really cares? Because I mean, all at this point you really need is just two steam ups and that's it. Yes. So 
Uh, so we're going to see Ed giving Gustavo two cards, and Alex is going to get a fresh six. And he hasn't used his trade for the turn yet. He has not. So, so we're looking to hopefully see Azarua the add to his draw. Right. Um, but, we, oh, there's a Buzzwell going there's down. There's Buzz Boy. But the strong, that might actually be a pretty good play, using the Buzzwell to knock it out. He needs a floatstone to retreat. I mean, he can just discard the DC if he wants to as well. But at this point, I don't know if you'd want to, because you already discarded two puzzle. Mm -hmm. So that's a really risky play. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that trade, discard one of those very pretty end cards that he has. Um, I don't know. I can see him going for either one. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and go for check. the mine, or the right. He needs a little extra work to knock out a Zorark mm -hmm. and with Ace of Rollers. Yep. He just pick it right back up. So Absolutely. So, let's see. Gonna bench that Volcanion, put a Fighting Fury belt on it, and a Sigmar. Wow. 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 So, Gustavo's gonna get a nice fresh hand of seven cards. So Absolutely huge for him. So, I think in this case, it was the right play to face the parallel towards him, because mm -hmm. at least he can't get multiple Volcanions out. Yep. Until so you put a Brooklyn Hill down. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Alright, there's the Brooklyn Hill. Gets himself an Oranguru. Um, probably gonna Brooklyn Hill for, I would assume, a, well, he can only go for Volcanion EX. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Oh no, I wish I could get Turtonators with Brooklyn Hill. That'd be great. Oh my goodness. So, yep, gonna go ahead and get that Volcanion EX out with that Brooklyn Hill. Let's you search your deck for any fighting or water type basic Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Put it straight on your bench. Yes. Absolutely good for these Volcanion decks that sometimes can be, you know, a little clunky and necessarily can't find the right cards. Yep, going back to like what we were saying earlier, you know, they don't bridge a turn one. So, they need right. all different outs to find their Pokemon. Absolutely. So, we're gonna see Gustavo retreat into that Volcanion. Gonna go ahead and use Power Heater for a solid 30 damage. I don't think he discarded any steam ups this turn, did he? No, no okay. steam ups, so he has plenty of energy to discard coming from that ho -Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They're all there. They're all there. The boys are here. Alright, so going into Alex's turn. Uh, that Fury Bill kinda messes with a lot of math. I mean, and the Espeon's not doing much. I mean, you could Mind Jack. That would probably, well, that wouldn't be knockout with mm -hmm. the Fury Belt, would it? Wow. No. Now with a fear belt. Darn on. you, so, Alex! Why didn't you play Field Blower? <laughs> so um, there's a couple of different things I see here that he could potentially do. Um, Lele on Volcanion could be a thought right now with the DC Choice Band. Um, that's Ooh, that's yeah, always definitely. a great play for players that uh, you know, just to kind of do the extra damage. We'll do a base 130. Yep. So looks like he's just gonna go ahead and go for the end instead. That's a fine play. So. So I wonder if we're going to see Buzz will come to action or wait until he gets that third energy on and start knuckle punching or knuckle impact yeah. uh, for knockouts. That could be huge. I think he attached that energy this turn and is just waiting for another mm -hmm. stronger fighting energy to be able to, you know, eventually trade into a Guzma and kapow! All start over. Start him out. So yeah. I, I think it's still within reason, especially with this end of two, mm -hmm. um, but he still needs a lot. Mm -hmm. He's a lot to go for him. Yeah, absolutely. And you do have to remember, Gustavo does have that Oranguru down, so if worse comes to worse, he can draw himself into a few extra cards. Mm -hmm. So, looks like Alex just used Trade, got rid of Zorua. Uh, it looked about like he was re maybe retreating the Zoroark. I mean, I can see that. That does seem like a fine play, because just two steam-ups, and that Volcanion's taking a knockout. That's that Volcanion true. EX. Very, very true. Um, so, so yeah. yeah, we are going to see the buzzle come up. He's going to do 50 damage to the active, and I'm curious where he's going to put his 30 damage at. I would probably put it on the one with a lot of energy. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what he's going to do. Going to go ahead and use that jet punch. Strong energy adds an extra 20 damage. So, we're going to go there. Up oh, there. Switch. Wow. And if Gustavo has two fire energies, uh, there's uh, an instruct. Oh, my gosh. He gets the ultra ball. Now he can go Insane. for a top of Lele. Insane. Oh my goodness. Draw. Goes ahead and gets the Professor he, Sycamore. Oh my goodness. He Gustavo. is on fire. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Delete. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he's going to get the Professor Sycamore. <laughs> if he gets two fire energies, he wins. Because that's, that's, yeah, that's two right steam ups there. is going to make 190. Yep, there we go. Right. Retrieval, and Gustavo wins game one in a very convincing fashion against Alex. Uh, he hit everything. To be yeah. honest, it, even with a slow start, just ho -O and a Volcano in the X, and he's like, yeah. I, I got this. It just kind of goes to show that how powerful raw aggression can be. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like to play more of the setup decks because it's more consistent at that point, but yes. being able to just go in really quick and just wham, 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 that can win you games really I quick. I really like this list a lot. Um, uh, I've, you know, thought about Volcano a lot, mm -hmm. and my biggest thing was like, I would love if you could just switch it so much easier. So people like played it with Savali and like, right. you know, numerous amounts of switch. But yeah. I like his split between the four Guzma, two plus switch. I think it's like just enough. It's just enough. It's right. Just and enough. not to say that Silvalli's bad by any means. I think it has its own niche in different places, but yes. I think that it's really intriguing to sort of see this kind of version sort of take over, which is really awesome. So we're seeing those players just shuffle up right now, getting ready for game two. 
Uh, I'm going to assume Alex is going to go first. I don't see why you wouldn't. So, yep. Uh, Captain Obvious. So, uh, Alex is, has a couple things he has to do in this matchup. Um, you know, I think Buzz is 100% uh, needed. Absolutely. From the start, you got to get that chip damage going. Like It'll get that chip going. And it's especially good against Vulcani on EX just because it has 180 HP. Jet Punch puts it at 30, and then Choice Band on a Zork GX. Yeah, exactly. Riotus Beating is going to be taking a knockout, assuming there's a full bench. Yep, yep exactly. So a um, lot, lot of different numbers there to take into consideration. Uh, mm -hmm. But it also ships down to Baby Volcanians. It, it just does a lot for him for setup reasons. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'd love for him to see him give a couple more Zorx out. So it was a little bit of a poor setup on Alex's side, unfortunately. But I think, you know, Game 2 will be ready for a little bit of better setup. Yeah. This should be really fun. Uh, so we're going to see him get 7. So I think... Like you mentioned, Alex is going to definitely want to go for that jet punch. Um, there, and there we go. There's that buzzle. There's the buzzle and a lay lay. And he gets the mulligan. So this is definitely a little bit more on the bright side for Alex's game. A absolutely. So um, kind of going into this matchup, do you think Gustavo wants to kind of go for maybe not the same strategy? I wouldn't want to dead yeah. draw. That wouldn't be fun. But do you think he wants to go for just going straight onto that Kiawe on Holo? Honestly, if, if it's an option, I would. Yeah, Because, absolutely. I mean, it just, it just straight up takes away knockers on Buzzwool, everything. Yeah, absolutely. Just, it just, I'm almost to stop his setup right now. So slow to the aggressive play. You know, aggressive play is usually going to win if it can hit that number. And absolutely. in this case, it will. Mm -hmm. But with one Kiawe, we'll see. Yep. And there's another mulligan again for Gustavo. So Alex is going to get two extra cards. Oh, baby. This is just, this is just, he definitely needs it. And there's definitely a lot of time left right now to finish both games. So especially with how, how fast Volcanian is. So yeah, even though even though Alex just lost that game, you know it's a it's a pretty good trade off yeah. to get those cards. Puns. I'm so sorry. Oh man, I should be fired. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yep, Gustavo. No, not a mulligan. Amazing. All right. Ooh, gets three down. Interesting. That's fun. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and he starts the baby Volcanian. Wow. So that's good. And two Volcanians. That puzzle upside down. Oh, okay, he fixed it. All right. I was confused. All right. Strong Energy goes down on Buzzwool. Uh, and a Bridget. Ooh, Bridget, turn one. Absolutely. And Got not it. even having to put down the Lele, that's really good as well. Got to love the no Lele Bridgets. Oh, it feels so good. Especially in some decks where you only play one Bridget, and you're just like, hmm. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. So he's going to go ahead and use that Bridget. Get himself three non-EX basics that he can put right onto his bench. Looks like he's eyeing up a couple Zoruas, and I think I saw Rock Ruff there as well. He does it like a Rock GX tech in deck. I did see that. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm curious if he's going to go that strategy again. Right. Um, we So we do see, yeah, he is going to go to Adash strategy of two zeros and a rock ref. Yep. Going to go ahead and get that right off of the bat. Uh, so he already attached for the turn to the buzzwall. So, you know, next turn we're definitely going to see a jet punch, absolutely. Um, I think at this point, I think Alex really just wants to get a lot of Zorik GX out and mm -hmm. start being able to trade and start Riotus beating and all of that. I think, I think the biggest thing here is, you know, um, if Ho'o comes out, you know, we've got to start prioritizing. Kill it. it. you got yeah, to do whatever you can to take that out ASAP. Yeah. And um, just kind of go to two-shot Ace Roll Roar. Yep. Absolutely. All right. There we go. We see a switch. Uh-oh. It looks like he might go for like a... Ooh, there we wow. go. Lily so gets himself a fresh hand of eight cards. So Lily uh, got printed in Sun and Moon, and it got itself a new art in this Ultra Prism set. Uh, you normally will draw until you have six when you play the card, but if it's your first turn, you draw eight. That's right. really good. So he does find a third Volcano here. So mm -hmm. we can see one Steam Up. Triple Steam Up? Energy Retrieval. Or double okay. Steam Up. That's still pretty Oh, oh my so goodness. triple Steam Up. Oh, man. So that is 90, 110, 120. 120 Woo! damage. 120. From a 90x. On the first turn. On the first turn. Unreal. So that puts a lot of pressure on Alex. Like, that buzzwall is going down next turn. There's no doubt about that. So at this point, you definitely still go in with Jet Punch, though, right? Yeah. I, I think, I mean, I, st I still put the pressure on. Um, and then end. Because, like I said, uh, on the south side, there's very limited draw supporters. So mm -hmm. um, if the Ranger does not come down, which a parallel would be really great right now. Yeah. Uh, to limit his bench, mm -hmm. um, we could definitely see that. Yeah, absolutely. So he's going to go ahead and get the Cynthia with that Tapu Lele GX, like we mentioned already, that Wonder Tag ability. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible for the game. Let's you basically make your deck a lot more consistent. Yeah. And it makes it fair. And the attack is great also. Uh, energy Drive is a great attack and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, very balanced with the with how does, how strong it is as a, as a draw supporter. Absolutely. Or supporter so, finder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So going to go ahead and shuffle his hand in, draw himself a nice six new cards to sort of play with. Uh, he already has that Zork down, so, you know, he could probably trade into more stuff if he wants to, you know. It'd be great to see if he find those Zork here and then do the little chip damage, mm -hmm. and maybe... Maybe, like, a Parallel City or something would be a, cute a at this fighting point. energy would be solid to put on a Lycan Rock right now. I mean, a Rock Ruff, sorry. Right. Um, yep. Getting rid of the Giratina with that trade ability. Okay, perfect. There we go. So he can set up at least his Rock Ruff for, for another turn, mm -hmm. um, and get ready for uh, Bloodthirsty Eyes, uh, Dangerous Rogue GX potential. 
and maybe even Claw Slash if he really wanted to. Yeah. So there we go. See the strong energy come down on the Rock Rough. And we're just going to see a Jet Punch does a nice 50 to that active Volcanion. And then going to put 30 on that bench Volcanion. Kind of soften it up for later, which is a really good play. So going into Gustavo's turn, looks like he's going to play an Ultra Ball. Discarding a Fire Energy and uh, Professor Sycamore. Is that a Fire Energy? Is that a Fire Energy? Oh, no, that's a baby Volcanion. Okay. It, it looks, looks like, it like uh, one of those like, special like those old energies. Energies. EX fun, Phantom Hanum, uh, uh, Phantom Forces. Uh, Phantom Forces. Or not Phantom or Forces. Hollow Phantom. Phantom. Hollow Phantoms. Oh my gosh, we are Energy. the worst. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and play that Ultra Ball. Uh, going to use Max Elixir. Max Elixir lets you look at the top six cards of your deck. If you find a basic energy there, you can slap it onto one of your basic bench Pokemon. Definitely. Unfortunately, it does not look like he hits it, so uh, going to be without that nice little energy acceleration, at least for now. I think he's in a uh, pretty decent spot, though, without it, so. Yeah. <laughs> so Professor Sycamore comes down. Gustavo's going to get a nice seven cards. Um, I think at this point you kind of want to just get a bunch more steam ups. That sounds fun. I think I think at this point you just kind of just uh, well he's not really doing much with threat right now to my baby Volcanian. Mm -hmm. So take so take four snap four jet punches to knock it out. Right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna steam up power yeah. eater. Oh yeah, that seems fine. Get get all my Volcanian set up and then then what are you gonna do? So yeah, uh, exactly. He's he's kind of in a driver's seat right now. He just goes for one steam up. That's not a knockout on that buzzwall. Oh so wow. Just sixty damage. So that buzzwall lives to fight another day. There you go. I'm so there sorry. You go. There you go. Someone stop me. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, see the trade, gets rid of the Guzma. There's uh, an there's Acerola. There's an Acerola, so that could be huge this turn. So if he could find the Lycanroc GX, he could Acerola, Ooh. Bloodthirsty Eyes, test the second strong energy, and take out the Volcanium with oh, two energies. Oh, man, that is actually a but, really good play. So he has one more trade he could do. Um, if he could find an Ultra Ball, that would be amazing right now. That would be incredible. Now the question is if he has access to it. So he traded once. Don't see an option in there. Looks like he's going to play the Acerola. He might just go back into the other Buzzwall he just benched. Okay. I think he's just content to do that at this point and not overextend. I think he maybe wants to save That's the fair. Dangerous Rogue for later in the game if possible, which would seem pretty decent. So Interesting. He's bringing up the Zorak here. That's I know he has a Guzma in hand, so he might be going for Guzma shenanigans. Oh, no, he has a DC. Never mind. He already Acerola. So. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, wow. you already Acerola. And so. I really am bad. So... So he's going to go ahead and attach double colorless energy there. Uh, Zark is going to get the knockout here with that uh, riotous beating attack, doing 120 damage, just enough to knock out that Volcanion with the Fighting Fury belt on it. So there we go, and Alex takes the first prize. And looks like Gustavo's going to promote the Floatstone Volcanion. Pretty easy, you can just bounce Each off of it. There. Yeah. So from here, I think Gustavo might want to start attacking with that Volcanion, if he can. So, oh, no. Ooh. Wow, okay, so this, oh, this, is, the, this, this is, is the opening that, that Alex good. needs right now. Yeah, that is not good for Gustavo at all. He just had to promote that bear Lycanroc, or not Lycanroc, uh, what am I saying? Volcanion, Volcanion. goodness Volcanion. gracious. <laughs> so, discards the M with that trade ability, Alex there. Gonna get himself a nice fresh two cards, and another two cards with that rock rough being gone. So, all right. so a couple different options you could do here. Uh, we could start setting up a knuckle punch, uh, Ooh, very well knuckle good. impact uh, attack. Mm -hmm. So he can start putting strong energies on. I would actually probably put the basic on there because you mm -hmm. may want to save the strong for a bloodthirsty eyes knockout. Yeah, but it looks yeah, it looks like he's gonna go ahead and attach there onto the rock rub. Get it ready for the next turn. You know, he can maybe get a nice claw slash off if need be. Um, but it looks like he's just content to go for a ride of speeding here. Just yes. do 120. 140. Kukui. Ah, yes, 140. Kukui. So. So on this top of his hand, he had a Guzma, so he can go for that if he... Oh, okay. there we go. So Guzma is going to go ahead and bring up that Rock Ruff. Uh, Volcanic Heat, that is easily going to be a knockout. Poor little doggy is dead. So, cool thing to uh, think about there, uh, he's still strong energy in hand for Buzzwool. So he can just promote Buzzwool, mm -hmm. uh, and... Well, actually, no, he, needs to, he wants to Guzma up the Volcanian. Right. And he can knuckle punch, uh, jet punch, sorry, with the strong energy for knockout. Yes, absolutely. That'd be really good. And then you can also just soften up that Volcanian that mm -hmm. just attacked. The one downside, though, that I can see is that then that Volcanion went to the bench. It can Volcanic reset, Heat again. Re reset the Volcanic right. Heat, very So true. that's definitely something you have to consider when you're doing that. Looking at his hand, I was like, why are you playing that Enhanced Hammer? There's no specials. Oh, <laughs> trade. Surprise. So goes ahead and trades away a couple cards, gets a bunch more cards. And he's got this strong energy he's eyeing up. Maybe he's going to put that under the buzzwall. I mean, that's the only thing he can put it onto. Yeah, <laughs> but, unfortunately. Uh, but I'd, I definitely want to see start setting up for that knuckle impact attack. Absolutely. I, I think that's the, the optimal player right now. Yep. So it looks like he's actually just going to attach to the Zorark, saying, oh. I don't mind Riot speeding for 150. That's actually really good, though, because next turn he can Guzma and get a double Ooh, knockout. That's a very solid player right there. So 
Oh, there's Turtonator and Fury Belt. I'm surprised they didn't put the Fighting Fury Belt on one of the Volcanians to save that play. Yeah, I don't know if Gustavo maybe didn't realize that, or maybe he's just thinking, you know, Shell Trap with a Fury Belt's really good. So, all right, gonna go ahead and play that Cynthia. So Gustavo's gonna get himself a nice six cards for so this he, game. He, uh, he needs what triple steam up for a knockout? Uh, two, 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 yes. Triple steam up to 160, yep. 190, 220. Assuming yep. he's using Volcanic Heat. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, yeah, we're gonna see, I'm pretty sure because there's not very many fires yeah. in the discard. So I think the play is to just go ahead and do that. Triple steam and nitro tank. I mean, sorry, Volcanic Heat for a uh, knockout here. Yeah, absolutely. If he had more fire, he could definitely nitro tank, but I don't think that that's really a viable option at this point, this late mm -hmm. in the game. Exactly. So. It's so, usually utilized as like a recovery uh, card right there. Yeah, um, absolutely. So going to attach there and retreat, and then that Volcanion is going to go in with just 130. So this is, if he has the Guzma, I know he has a strong energy, if he has the Guzma, I think I saw the, I think I saw the Guzma this in his hand. a great so, play for him. So this is going to be a really big turn for Alex if you can pull that He's off. He's already looking at it. Have you ever taken four prizes with the buzz ball? <laughs> Neither have I. I cannot say that I, I have. Cannot. And he got an extra Guzma for insurance. So Just, just for some... Some kicks and giggles. So, uh, Alex just discarding more cards. Doesn't really need the Espeon. Knows there's no evolution in Gustavo, so why not discard it? So right. now Alex has like a really ginormous hand. No, oh, what do I do? Too many cards. I have to, I have to find that Guzma in oh, the pile. Oh, is he grabbing the Acerola? Acerola could be really good, though, actually. You know, it heals that Zorak and denies Gustavo prizes. Very true, very true. So uh, that actually might be the better play at this point because. It could very well be. Because that, that Volcanion on the bench has two energy. It's going to get the knockout next turn. Yep. Easily. Very easily. So, but it, so yeah, if it's a fresh a fresh Zorg up there, yeah, it won't be able to do it as easily without the Volcanic Heat. So. Right. Uh, I'm curious what he's going to decide here. I think I would uh, favor the Acerola play, like, the, yeah. like like you mentioned. Acerola seems like a much better play at this point, based on the cards that he was able to draw off of that uh, trade. Mm -hmm. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, no, he's going to go for the Guzman. He's going for the play. I think he realizes that he has another Zorg on the bench with the double color list. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll be fine. So, and that also does leave Gustavo without two Volcani on EXs. And that is also true. Okay, so, so this, I, I think I see Merit in both plays, but this is, yeah, this is a great this play. Is, this is a fine play for sure. So, knockout, knockout. So, there we go. And Alex takes a very big four prizes. Wait. Yeah, there's yeah. a strong energy. Yeah, that should be knockout. <laughs> wow, All right. great turn right there. And let's see what the response is from Gustavo. So, there's a Tapu Lele. Part going to be an N. Don't know what he's going to get at this point. Uh, I know he drew a Kiawe for the turn. I'm uh, going to get the end. That seems fine. So, looks like he's just getting it for now. Maybe just dying out his hand before playing it. So, is uh, that, so he's at five prizes to the Alex's one, correct? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, oh, there's a Super Odd. So, he's going to go ahead and put a combination of three Pokemon and energy back into his discard. Um, hey, two fires and a Volcanion X seems fine. Uh, that Volcanion goes into the deck. Brooklyn Hill. Oh, Brooklyn Hill. Yeah, I think I think he was just kind of like just speeding up the little process there, but gotcha. just throwing it right out there. So did not realize that. So uh, that's fine. We're gonna see a natural take hopefully next play out of from, from Gustavo is what I believe is what he's hiding. Yeah. And just kind of all right, let's reset. Okay. So there we go. N's gonna give Alex one card, and Gustavo's gonna get five. So unfortunately, without having our rock roof on the bench, uh, Alex can't pull off the awesome play of bloodthirsty eyes, Lele Kakui with um, Zorark for knockout. Well, he doesn't have the rock. I was going to say, he missed out on that. Uh, right, 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 earlier, yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. Energy retrieval, going to get himself nice two energy. And double steam up, that's a perfect knockout on that boss wall. All right. Very well. So we'll have to see what Alex can get off of this. Uh, yeah, brightest beating is knockout. Yep. So, yep, because yep, he has the choice, man. So 150, and All right. we are going to game three here. Another game three, lots of time left. Um, this is definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, absolutely. So I think at this point, I think, you know, Gustavo should really try to capitalize on the whole Kiawe plays at that yeah. point. I think I that was what won him game one, being yep. able to go in with raw aggression at that point was just huge for him. Yep. So we'll have to go for that. I think Alex finally realized that, you know, going in with the buzz wall early, being able to soften up mm -hmm. those Volcanions is absolutely huge. So I think he'll definitely want to do that in game three as well. Long sticks with that strategy, I think it, it, he, he'll be in a good spot. Um, but if Gustavo does get that whole Kiawe again, um, not much can stop that play. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be diff definitely interesting what players prioritize in this game. Uh, it also depends on what gets prized. So yeah, what's absolutely. open for them. So Yeah, so we'll just have to wait for them to set up, see what they get. Um, what I think is interesting is that neither players use a GX attack this game, I don't think. Nope. For this match. Nope. So, I mean, Alex really only has access to 
one, maybe two if he can get the energy. You can get energy on them, yeah. But, like, Gustavo's got access to... Two, right? Two? Yep. Between... Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Turtle Energy X and... I keep thinking Hello. Volcanic Energy X is a DX attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I really think that if he can get a lot of fire in the discard or something like that, that Nitro Tank from Turtle could be devastating as well. Definitely. So, I think he just needs to go for energy acceleration in some way, shape, or form this game. All right. So, so the player set up now. Gets. Looks like Gustavo might have that set up again with a baby Volcanian and two Volcanians. No, there you go. Oh, no, that's the Okay. Oh, <laughs> darn. All right. And, and there's a Buzzwall. All there's right. There's Mr. Buzzwall. Underway right. in game three, and Gustavo takes the first right. draw of the game. So Gustavo has an Ultra Ball. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get, like, a Tapu Lele, depending on his hand. Um, you know, he has two Ultra Ball. Oh, he has a Lele in his hand, it looks like. Yep. So he can go for a Ho-Oh and Lele yep. for a Kiawe. Yes, that's exactly that is what I was absolutely thinking. what you should be doing, I think. Absolutely huge. And you know, if how does Alex respond to that? Uh, that's a very tough thing to respond Especially to. Especially going second. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to be able to attack you, until he's well, gone. Well, the force like, thing is he can't bring it active unless he has a switch or the... Right, and he can't attack this turn anyway. Plus Looks so, like he's going for the Turtonator. Okay. So I also like that play. I think that, you know, it's a good attacker. Kiaweing onto it is pretty solid well, as well. So. One thing I like about that is if you get the two energies on there and steam up and shell trap, with how slow Alex's deck runs... Yeah. You can, it's, it's definitely something to look out for. Right. Looks like he's just going to go for the Lily, though. I think he's content at this point. Uh, going to put that Volcanion down. Play Max Elixir. Yeah. Got his hand down, and then he's going to go for that Lily for eight. He whiffs the second Max Elixir. Between 13 energy, you're, and, he and he misses, he misses it. it. Oh, my oh. goodness. Poor Gustavo. So, at this point, it looks like, I think that is Lily for eight, isn't it? It's going to be a full Lily for there eight. There you go. All right. Two gonna games get him a in nice a row. hand of eight cards. Absolutely wild. I know that when the card first came out, a lot of players brushed it off, you know, kind of saying like, oh, it's mediocre at best, but clearly it's pulling its weight in this yes, match exactly, here. So. Yeah. All right, so Fire goes down onto Turtonator GX there. Uh, that's pretty much all Gustavo can do for this yeah. turn, I think. Yep, there he we go. He has everything he needs in his hand for the next turn, Float Stone, another Fire Energy, so. Yep. And, he and Alex top decks a Lele, so Ooh. what is the play here? Does he have Fighting Energy? Does not have any energy Doesn't yet. have any energy. I don't know. I, I think, I think it's Cynthia. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah. I mean, more than likely, Buzzwell's not going to get knocked out next turn, so I think you're fine doing that. Very, yep, so, I agree. Unless you need a lot of Floatstone, uh, Floatstone, two max elixirs, and an elixir up. and an energy and a steam up. Is, I mean, it's possible for sure. Very possible. But we'll have to see what Alex draws. Maybe he can get some Pokemon on the bench there. With his recent elixir luck, uh, uh, <laughs> I won't put my money on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Alex gets himself a nice fresh six cards off of that. Cynthia, I do see Azora what popping out, and a Rockruff, so. There's still no energy, though, so no turn one <sighs> jet for Alex. Not good at all. So, Gustavo just got away with a free turn. Essentially, yep. Absolutely insane. Normally, even though the Zorak um, Buzzwell deck, like in Rock, normally doesn't attack on the first turn, this is a heavy emphasis on Buzzwell, so yep. surprising to not see him attack. It's meant to set up, and he discards the Ho-Wo. Full bench yeah, already, so. I mean, it's fine, because he put down three Volcanion on Got Nitro Tank now. Really got Shell Trap. Yep, there's a Max Elixir. There we go. There it is. Uh, this play could very well happen. Oh, my gosh. We just dinked it. He has it. not attached for turn yet. He has not. Now, the question is if he has, you know, in hand, two energies. Yep, he does. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Insanity. Whew. That is bonkers. Oh, my goodness. And thanks to the the steam up, that is a knockout with that bright flame attack. Doing 160 base. You do have to discard two fire energy, but... Between power heater and nitro tank, it's not that big of a deal. Exactly. Yeah, then you can just shell trap the next turn. If you get another energy, you're doing 30 base, get another fire energy with the steam up. That's mm -hmm. 60. That's enough to knock out Azorua. Yep. Even though it's probably going to be evolving into Azorua this turn. So, yep. Yep. There it is. That's right on cue. And N. All right. So, Gustavo's going to be down to four cards, and uh, Alex is going to have six. Not that it really matters yet, but Gustavo doesn't have any room for an Oranguru, which nope. is huge. No Oranguru, and his, I believe he's used at least two of his draw supporters so far, but he still has four Sycamores um, and his end left, so. Yeah, um, absolutely. Still has a lot of power left in his deck. Mm -hmm. So, we'll have to wait and see what they get off of this. You know, if Alex can, you know, capitalize on maybe getting a DC and a bunch of Pokemon, he could put in some work here, absolutely. So he does have the DCE and a strong energy, which okay. he's trading away. So I would like to see his Nuzru come on bench for Alex. Mm -hmm. oh. Don't know if that's going to happen, though. He's going to bench the strong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can't max Elixir that. And All right. just a so, nice, uh, easy 60 damage from so, a right uh, Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and discard that. Right on key, one of those Sycamores we were just talking about. Yeah. All right. Going to get a fresh hand of seven cards. 
So Gustavo, I mean, obviously you're probably just going to try and break or uh, shell trap this turn. Yeah, yeah. Shell shell trap with some steam ups. He has an energy retrieval. He has a fighting energy in hand. Um, I think he's just, you know, like I said earlier, he's just kind of in the driver's seat right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he attached it to the bench. So we're definitely going to see a nitro tank then. Mm, that's a really good play at this point. Absolutely. And there we go. Nitro tank TX. Let you go in your discard. Find five fire energies or as many as you have that are under five and, and attach them to your Pokemon anywhere you any like. way you like. Oh, that's huge. And knowing that there's no field blower, that Turtonator is not going anywhere. Because there's, well, there's 60 on it right now. It has 230 with the Fury Belt, 170. Alex would need to get a full bench and a choice band and a and Professor Kukui, Kukui to do to do uh, to knock it out. Can he do it? Uh, it's asked for a lot. I, I think the Kukui was in his hand. Uh, okay. I can't tell right now. And he does have access to trade, so it's not too far fetched. Yeah. He needs to hit a lot, uh, but we're going to see the bridge. Yeah, we're going right to see now. the bridge. That's the same. Yeah, the play Kukui at this is point. on the far left side of his hand. Yeah. Uh, but, but we do we need we need to catch up. We need to reset up. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of really a good play from Alex. He realizes that he needs to set up because after the Zorark. He doesn't really have anything that can do a lot of damage. Nothing, nothing, nothing significant right now. It's just a lot. Go back to the chip damage of Buzzwool. Great. Um, but if we can see some of the rules come down, um, and then maybe even touch a fighting energy to Buzzwool this turn, mm -hmm. um, we can start setting up for some future plays. All right. So, kind of looking through, Zang up another Rockruff. He plays two. Oh wow. I didn't even realize. Two one that. line. Oh my goodness. This is wacky. All right. So he's gonna go ahead and get that. Rock Ruff, he's kind of hesitant. He doesn't know if he needs a second Rock Ruff, it looks like. I don't know. I mean, I think I'd do that just to be safe. Kind of threaten, like, I'm going to bloodthirsty eyes you eventually. Mm -hmm. I think I think a big thing, too, is so that if Gustavo was to uh, goose him up one to Rock Ruff, still has one for a bloodthirsty eyes later, play later, so. Yeah. So, going to just get the Rock Ruff and the Zorua. Smart play, maybe leaving some room on the bench for maybe a top of Lele GX later mm -hmm. on in the game or something like that. So, right as feeding is doing a solid 100 here. I think that's fine. It's a decent amount of damage. Uh, it's hesitating where to put that strong energy. I don't see why you wouldn't put it on the rock rough at I this point. Say, yep. Yep. At this point, yeah, you're, you're, you need a lot. You might as well risk a little bit, so. All right. Oh, there's blood. There's a lichen rock. So he, he could, yeah. He I could. wouldn't do it at this point. Though. If there's a lot of float stones in a discard or switch cards, maybe, but maybe there's, none. The, the, there's yeah. none. Right. There, yep. Yeah, so I wouldn't do it at this point. Although, no, he's doing it. I don't hate it for sure. Maybe a nice way to stall or something like that while he's setting up. Mm -hmm. So, gonna touch a strong, do a ride of speeding for a nice 100 damage. And that puts the Volcanium within two hit KO range. Alright, so going back into Gustavo's turn. Um, need a switch card. Switch card, steam ups can uh, start getting knockouts. Even with. a Guzma would be really good. Yeah, at this Guzma. Point. Ooh, Guzma are really big on I like and rock. And he's kinda, got that Guzma in his hand, so... How many fire... Are, there's no fire to his discard now, so he won't be able to get the steam ups. Right. So we'll just have to wait and see what he gets. Yep, it's going to go ahead and Guzma the like and rock. Kind of identifies, hey, that's your big hitter. Let's get rid of it. He could do something really interesting if he didn't have fires in his hand where he would have promoted the Volcanion on bench, retreated, energy retrieval, and then steam up for the... He very well could have. Looks like he's just going to Bright Flame for... Oh, no. no, he's retreating. So he's doing it the reverse way I said it. He's on an energy retrieval now. There you go. Okay. Well, that only does 190. And oh. oh. And is there a, yeah, a third Volcanion steam up? Yep. yep, there you go. All right. So that. <laughs> I like that better because it keeps his energies on his Volcanion, and at yep. least the attacker has it. Absolutely. Very smart play from Gustavo, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead, see an attachment to the baby Volcanion. Kind of deciding if he wants to put the floatstone down at this point. I mean... I think you haven't seen a field floor yet in this game. You're probably like, eh, why not? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So the judge is just confirming that there were three steam ups. <laughs> so there were indeed. Oh, that, that was Alex saying, "Well, <laughs> we we tried. <laughs> we tried. Um, All right. Uh, I'm not sure what else Alex could do at this point. I mean, I he mean, has a volcano ready to go with three steam ups. Baby volcano on bench to just reset up his board right. with power I think heaters. At this point, you could just go for an N and. Hope for the best for because, the best. you know, that's putting Gustavo down to two cards with no Oranguru on the bench. Yes. Uh, I think that if he can, if Alex can get an N, that could very well save him this game. And there it is. Yep. So, um, he wants to find Ozark. He wants to trade. He wants mm -hmm. to start. I still believe he should try to set up that Knuckle Impact attack, especially at this point. Uh, what is Relicant Rock going to the discard? Yeah. Um, so, uh, we'll see what he decides on here. He is will be getting N to five. That's what it looks like. 
it's hard. I think, I he, think took a, he took a knockout on the baby volcano earlier in the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. So. Yep. Going to get himself a decent amount of guards. Gustavo, not a decent amount. Um, and Alex still does have access to his trade for the turn. So, and I believe he is not... I can, he can evolve that Zoro as well, so he can get two trades if he really, mm -hmm. really wants yep. to. So we'll just have to wait and see. He's obviously going to be riotous beating this turn. I think I don't think there's anything else that you would want to do at this point. Yep. Just because uh, the Buzzwall having, you know, 190 compared to the 210 actually makes a difference with the math. The play to so. victory right now is just a Sorella chain, to be honest. Absolutely. Uh, there, there's no, uh, you don't have a real much of a cap. Yep. Ooh, oh. Mind Jack could be really good. That hits right now 160. So if he has a choice space, if he, he has can a choice out. and a DCE, ooh, that is... That's, he has trade that left. That is really good. He has trade left, so we we could very well see that play. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, Mind Jack doing that 10 plus 30 for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon is absolutely amazing, especially when your opponent puts down all these Pokemon like this. So we'll see what he gets. Wouldn't be surprised if, you know, trade. Mm. Mm. That is not a double. Well, no, he has double in hand, but he doesn't have the, the choice span for the choice knockout. Band, yeah. I saw a parallel city in his hand. That could be. That could be interesting. He could limit how much damage Gustavo does at this point. With I that, so if you do that, triple steam up 160, 190, 220. And parallel city puts it at 200. Exactly. So it still saves Azura. Azoric, sorry. Yeah, exactly. So he's. On, I think he's gonna play this lately. Get it like a Cynthia, and then parallel himself would Absolutely. be a play I like to I see. I think that that is the play at that point. So he's going to tap a Lele here. Like you said, probably getting a Cynthia. Maybe oh. an end just to put some, uh, you know, some pain to that. So we'll go from there. Uh, currently our screen is temporarily down, but we'll get back up soon. Oh, well, he's getting an Issa Roller. So out. he's expecting that play. I think, I think he knows I have to do this. Yep. Um, this is where I'm going to go with. You know, let's just go for it. Yeah. So, yep, going to get that Issa Roller for next turn. So, you know, if he can't get the knockout, hey, I have an Issa Roller. I'll attack you more. Yep. yep there there we go. He's going to limit his bench, get rid of that. Tapu Lele, an easy target for an attack from Gustavo's side. I think he's kind of contemplating where he wants to put energy if he wants to do Mind Jack this turn even. I see, I, I don't I don't think you put a DCE down at any point in the game unless you're about to use it. Absolutely. I'm, I'm a big advocate of that. Like strong energies, fighting energies are kind yeah. of a different story. Because they're, they're setting up. <laughs> exactly. Right. Absolutely. So he's going to attach it to the Rock Ruff, maybe trying to get ready for a dangerous rogue later on in the game, which could actually be a really good game closer, considering yep. he has a really large bench right now on Gustavo's side. Agree, agree. So, going to go ahead. Riot is beating for 120, and we'll see how Gustavo can respond. Oh, there's a switch, so he can... He can do his uh, volcanic Oh, heat. he has a... Wow. Sycamore. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He has hit Sycamore off, off the of low every end, end of two. every oh, hand in the game, and I'm sure we're going to see an energy retrieval or that two fires amazing. right now. All right. So, well, Gustavo... We still can get knocked out, so... Let's see, let's see, uh... Brooklyn Hill. Why wouldn't you play it? I think you play it at this point. Get rid of the damage modifying reduction. I think he's trying to check to see if he for sure has it all. He has two energy. It looked like two energies. Did I see retrieval? Because if he has the retrieval with the two energies. That's it, yeah. That's I, it. He has it all right now. Because if, if you bump that parallel city, three steam ups on that with the volcanic heat, that's doing 220. I can't tell from his... Okay, so ooh, field blower works. Brooklyn... Field blower, the Brooklet. I like that though, so that Alex can't get out another Buzzwall or something. But yeah, I mean, I believe he has game right now. I can't. I don't. I couldn't tell. I mean, even if he doesn't, I still think he's in a really good position at this point. There. Although you got to remember that Alex did get the um, the Ace roll off of that yes. Lele, so Gustavo's definitely got that in mind. I think. So it looks like he's just gonna go ahead and use the yeah, power okay. heater. Okay. So that's seems fine. Smart play. Just setting up. Gonna get those two energies. Probably going to put one on the Turtonator. Uh, where would you put the other one? Lele. All right. That works. Just spread, just spread the love now. Yeah. Why not? Um, I, at, this point, love. at this point, after that insane Sycamore play, I don't I don't think there's much Alice can do. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, there are some ways that he can come back. I mean, like, if he can pull, like, a really good Guzma or something like that, or yeah. maybe even a Bloodthirsty Eyes on that um, on that Volcanion, that could be huge. There's a choice making he did last turn. Oh, man. I think that he could go for the Acerola play here, pick that up, do another trade. I think that would be fine. If he had a, a Lycan Rock in his hand and a Fighting Energy, he could definitely do the Acerola play. Oh, and absolutely. Bloodthirsty Eyes. Probably. Oh, Touch Roast, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Really tough choice, actually. What would you What would you bloodthirsty eyes in that situation? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, if you like have all the cards to be able to knock out with a dangerous rogue, I'd get rid of the Turtonator. Mm -hmm. Just because you'll need more steam ups to knock out with uh, knock out a uh, or with the yeah. volcano. Okay, that volcanic makes sense. Heat, so, so whereas Turtonator, you just put an energy on him, one steam up, and kapow. That's it. So he is going to ace the roll. I think he's trying to figure out who he wants to promote. Does he want to risk maybe getting the Lycanroc off of a trade that he's going to use with that Zorua? I think he has to go all in at this point. I, mean, I think you do at this point. like, I'm here. I'm set up. I'm here. What are you going to do? All right, there we go. Trade getting rid of a Cynthia and does not hit a Lycanroc. Oh, my God. All right. So Alex, I think, is going to put the Zorua back down, obviously. Um... Would you retreat and attack with Zork GX? Uh, or would you just pass? Because you have a one prize attacker up there. He's going to retreat. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not, you got to keep it to uh, the Bloodthirsty Eyes later on. So. Yeah, that's true. And so he got to at least take so out yeah, the Knockout. He's going to go ahead and do that. Later. That's incredibly risky, though. All that Gustavo needs is two Steam Ups and a Fire Energy on the Turtonator, and that's, that's game. Yep. So we'll have to see if Gustavo gets it. He has a big hand. I don't see why he would not. You know, but who knows? I'm sure, he's weighing out all his options right now to make sure. Hey, do I oh, have this path to victory? Absolutely, especially in this close of a match, mm -hmm. you would have to make sure that you're getting all the math correct. Now we are getting close to time, so um, curious if how if this is going to get stretched out or not to the finish, and it ends up being a tie. Yeah, but I think I think I think we're going to see a finish here with the next upcoming minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that for this game, I think Gustavo can easily finish this up, though. I think, but. It's not over for Alex, I don't think yet. I think he has some options that he can get, whether that's the Lycanroc or the Guzma. All right, so he's going to retreat the Volcanion and go for the Turtonator. Maybe just go for a Shell Trap. Yep. I think I'm I fine. like that play a lot. I am fine with that. Although it doesn't look like he's doing it quite yet. TCG players. Yep, there we go. So fine. Fighting Fury Bolt's going to make that do 30, and if Alex attacks into that Turtonator next turn, TCG players, it's going to be a hefty eight damage count yep. on there. Yep. So it would have been really nice if he was able to steam up with that also, but if he was going to steam up, he would have knocked out all candy anyway, so. Right. So interesting spot to be in right now for Alex. Yep. Going to play that Ultra Ball. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get something such as maybe like a Lycan Rock or something like that. Um, to Bloodthirsty Eyes. I think he got an Acerola off of the trade, so he can do that. Do that again. Bloodthirsty Eyes, something knock on maybe that uh, Volcanion he has on the bench with a lot of damage. Well, he needs double puzzle to bring back the Lycan Rock. Remember, he only plays the one, and it was knocked out earlier. Mm -hmm. So we need a second puzzle, is, uh, is what he needs. So I think he's looking for his Zork GX right now to trade. Absolutely. So if he could pull off, get his Zork, double puzzle, and, and Lycan Rock, um, could see some interesting happen for him. Yeah, definitely. So. Alex is kind of eyeing up some cards. I think I saw, I think I saw Zork at the top. I couldn't really tell. Uh, oh no, it's a Tapu Lele. Gonna go ahead and get a Cynthia. That's not bad either. So yep. Gonna attach a Fighting Energy to the Rock Rough. Choice band. All right. Does he wanna? Yeah, I think I'd be fine with it being put there at this point. And looks like he's gonna go ahead and play Cynthia. Get himself a fresh hand of six cards. And. Um, so, yeah. do you... He can't attack. This, he should not attack because all... Uh, Turtonier has his retreat and Volcanium comes up and knocks out. So, he can't even attack right now. Um... Because that's what, that's what, 30 damage on him. If he attacks, that puts him at... at yeah, that may 80, not, right? oh, yeah, yeah, with the shell trap. Yeah, the right. shell trap, yeah. Mm, yeah, absolutely. So... He's pretty pressured right now. Yeah, absolutely. So, we'll just have to wait and see, like, what he decides to do. Maybe he decides to go for what is Rockruff's first attack. Nah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. I mean, you could see that and then end the one the next turn. Right. Mm. Going to trade away an Ultra Ball. Parallel City is pretty good. Which way would you play it, though? Uh, at this point, I think you just... You, you, you play the damage-reducing side toward Gustavo. Yes, exactly. And you can get your Lele off board, which, I mean, it will kind of relevant, but, like, it still gets an easier target away off the board. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So... Yep, he's going to play the Parallel City. I would not be surprised if he got rid of the Lele. Yep. yep. Mm. So Tapu Lele goes into the discard just because Alex has that budget three right now. And Gustavo's doing 20 less damage. And there's a pass. Two Fire Energies does the game. Ching, number one. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, play I'll down your cards. Play down the cards yeah. and limit. Absolutely. So there goes a Cynthia, six cards. Gustavo just needs an energy retrieval, a fire energy. Some Lots of combos. Way to get a fire energy for a steam up. And uh, we'll see what happens off the six cards from Cynthia. All right. Here we go. And the last two. Um, field blower. I don't know if it's there. We up. Go. There nice we go. Game. All right, there we go. And Gustavo Wada has just won round three here at Collinsville Regional Championships against Alex in a 2-1 fashion, playing that good old-fashioned volcano.